New tonight at 6 o'clock, a glimpse inside the billion dollar Tesla factory in South Buffalo. And it is a view not sanctioned by the founder of the company, Elon Musk. Now, last week, Two on Your Side reported a large number of crates containing Tesla equipment was quietly moved to a warehouse in Wheatfield. Well, tonight, investigative reporter Steve Brown updates the story with photos from inside the Tesla plant in a story that you'll see only on Two. The Tesla Gigafactory 2 in South Buffalo. Chances are you've only seen the outside of the massive plant from the ground level, or maybe you've seen our drone footage from above the factory. But now, a view that Elon Musk may not appreciate. Have a look from inside. Two on your side has obtained pictures. They are from August 2018, and they show lots of equipment bought for the plant. Who bought it? You did. On the crates is stenciled Fort Schuyler Management Corporation. That's the nonprofit Governor Andrew Cuomo's administration crafted to oversee the building and equipping of the Tesla factory, and state taxpayers paid for all of it. We've previously reported the whole thing cost just short of $1 billion. The equipment alone cost almost $300 million. That's why we're showing you these pictures of Tesla equipment, because a not small amount of Tesla equipment was moved out of the factory to here. The Wheatfield business part. We reported last week that between 30,000 and 60,000 square feet of space at the facility is now home to Tesla equipment. Why has taxpayer financed equipment been moved out of the taxpayer financed factory? In a four sentence statement, Tesla's state government landlord, Empire State Development, said this. Tesla is moving in equipment needed for new production lines and must relocate equipment that is not being used at this time. That brings us back to these pictures. We do not know if this is the specific Tesla equipment now sitting in the Wheatfield warehouse, but apparently there's a lot of it there. At the maximum, the move to Tesla equipment takes up enough space in the warehouse to cover a bit more than the entire playing surface of New Era Field. And state taxpayers paid for the equipment. So this prompts all sorts of questions. In terms of dollars spent, how much equipment is not being used? What's gonna happen to it? Who paid for the move? Who's paying to store it? Did state government just buy the wrong equipment? Is that why setting up the factory was more expensive than originally thought? And when does state government get to stop buying equipment for the Tesla factory? We asked Empire State Development about this and more. And again, no answers so far. So we'll keep asking the questions until we get the answers. And when we do, we'll report that to you. Steve Brown, Channel 2 News.